Hi everyone, um, this is Hind um, and I've decided to become a movie star which is why I'm talking to all of you. Um, before I, I, I start I, I want to say a big and massive huge thank you to each and every one of you and everything you've done throughout this pandemic. You have all been absolutely amazing um, and, and it is just so humbling to be part of such a brilliant team. I also want to say a massive thank you to all of you who've taken the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, and I wanted to share my own uh, kind of experience after undertaking research about the safety and the effectiveness of the vaccine. I have decided to go ahead with it. So I've taken my first one and very soon, hopefully we'll have my second one. And I can tell you that all the doctors have had their vaccines too. There's a lot of disinformation out there, especially on the internet. I really do urge you to ignore it and to focus on the facts and the science. If anyone wishes to speak to me or any of the doctors, we would be more than happy to do so, to kind of more or less tell you our views because we know how trials work, we know how research works, and it is really not a lot different to how other medicines have been um, uh, kind of uh, given out in the past reasons why other people might suggest you have the COVID vaccine. For us, we're not really interested in those reasons. We're only interested in the simple fact that by doing so, you'll be actively helping our patients. You're helping our patients because the large majority of the LME staff would being vaccinated gives us all the freedom to authorise visits from parents and to start home leaves again. It gives us the freedom to do this because if we thought that by bringing COVID-19 back into the hospital, we're putting your health at risk, we may have to think twice about allowing a patient to go on leave or allowing a parent to visit. We all know the vaccine is not perfect, but undoubtedly it will help in reducing the risks to you. And this will allow us to focus on the best care plan for our patients including authorising visits and home leave. I just want to say a big thank you for listening and thank you also on behalf of all the patients, our families, uh, and on behalf of their SMT for all the brilliant sacrifices you make and everything you have done to help all these young people with their illness. You're superstars.